And so I should say that for years and years, I have done classroom interventions and academic writing, academic literacy interventions, and uh, evaluated them. And um, that's finished now. I won't work further in this area, but I have started about one and a half years ago to observe and analyze one-to-one -one academic writing tutorials. And I'm just in the process of writing my work up. And that has been very interesting. And I have analyzed to what extent the teachers, the instructors are dialogic. Um, employ dialogic uh, teaching strategies to help the student to find answers and solutions themselves. And I've found out in the 15 observations that I've done that um, some uh, instructors do that naturally while others take a rather monologic approach and tell students in a prescriptive way what to do, which basically isn't very helpful for the students. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, uh, that's a good question because I have just completed a research proposal for research funding. And what I want to do next is I want to follow um, a cohort of first year undergraduate and postgraduate students from all sorts of backgrounds throughout their first term at university to find out basically how they deal with the academic literacy demands. So I want to basically monitor, monitor them throughout the whole process of completing their first assignment. Um, so that's the project as I have defined it, and I think we can, from that kind of research, learn much more about what students really struggle with in the process of completing an assignment. For instance, the reading, information search, and so on. And if we have better knowledge about it, we can design more specific targeted uh, support measures. So with a growing number of learners of English around the world, and particularly in China, I would say that EAP is even more important than it has been, and there will be in the future. So becoming an EAP teacher is a, is a sound uh, career decision, I would say, because the need for um, EAP teachers will be larger and larger.